My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Church celebrates the memorial of Saints Marcellinus and Peter, early martyrs of the Church of Rome. Their names come up, we hear them often, in the first Eucharistic prayer, the Roman Canon, which in the Roman Rite was the only Eucharistic prayer up until the Second Vatican Council. Other Eastern Rites had several anaphoras. The West only had the one uh, until the Second Vatican Council. But the origin uh, of this Eucharistic Prayer I is it was the canon from the Church of Rome itself. And so when we hear that prayer, we hear at two different parts a long list of names. The first one, it's more obvious. We hear the apostles. Uh, and the second one, we, we hear some of the, the more famous, you know, we hear John the Baptist, Stephen, some of the more famous saints. But both lists include some names that probably are not familiar to most people. And in that second list, we pray for John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. But Marcellinus and Peter, when you hear the name Peter here, it's to be clear that we're not talking about St. Peter of the Apostles. We're talking about a different Peter. But like many of the early church martyrs, we actually don't have a lengthy bi biography of Marcellinus and Peter, but we do know that they were martyred in 304, and they were some of the early victims of the Diocletian uh, persecution, which was one of the great ones in which many, many Christians were killed. And the story has it, uh, these two men, where Marcellinus was a priest, Peter was an exorcist, and that Peter at one point was jailed and helped drive out the demon of the jailkeeper's daughter, which brought about a conversion of faith for the household of the jailkeeper, and wanted to be baptized, and the priest Marcellinus then baptized all of them. Under this persecution, both were arrested, neither would you know, stray from the practice of the faith, and so both were martyred. And even, even worse yet, they were murdered at a way away from everyone, buried in a place they thought no one could ever find them. They didn't want them to be added to the cult of people to you know, be literally martyrs uh, for the Christian cause. And yet, nonetheless, the bodies were eventually discovered and were brought for veneration. And so while we don't know much of their stories, the devotion of the Roman church was big towards these two figures. And so their names are included in that Eucharistic prayer along with so many other names whose stories we know and some that you may not know as much. But the inspiring thing when we pray for them at the altar and the Eucharistic prayer is to remind us that, that the inclusion there, the witness of faith, are there because the early Roman church took inspiration from its martyrs, from its witnesses, that paid the full price joyfully. We have so many of their stories. And yet, at face value, not all their stories are equal. Some of them are mighty saints, some of them have big stories, other are relative unknowns, and yet it matters not for the Eucharistic prayer. They're venerated and they're listed because they gave the full witness of faith. Whether they were a big name or not, there are people remembered as having paid the full price, given full witness of their faith. My brothers and sisters, may this be an inspiration to all of us that we are called to be saints. Not all of us are called to be St. Peter. Not all of us are called to be Mar Marcellinus or Peter. Each of us is called by God for something else. Some of us may be called to have a name that's remembered forever, and some of us, no one may remember our name 10 years after we die. But that's not for us to worry about. What is ours to worry about is that we are faithful in responding to the call of God. And that witness from the biggest name to the least, is powerful. It builds up the church. It points to the glory of God. We, all of us, in our position to glorify God through our witness, and we too will be part of the communion of saints, whether our name is ever listed in the, the Eucharistic prayer, whether it's ever listed you know, in the, the listing of saints canonized by the church, it ultimately matters not. As the saints were called to be, we forever will be part of the church triumphant, the saints in heaven around the throne, in which we can cry out glory towards God. May we be faithful in our witness. 
May may we respond to the grace given us by God and live joyful lives of yes to God. Saints Marcellinus and Peter, pray for us.